Can we go back to the hotel, please? <laughs> Yo, yo, not sure with tacos. Welcome back to another video. It is a beautiful day in France. Different from Texas. Isn't it like, wasn't it 107 yesterday? Okay, guys, um, why does this say orange for orange juice and this says pame for apple juice? It's like a double standard, I think. Like, if you're gonna use a French word for apple, use a French word for orange, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Dude, this fire's been going since last night. I guess it's something to do with like French logs. I guess French logs burn longer or something. What are we doing today? We're going to Normandy Beach, and then when we're done with that, we're gonna ride a train to Paris for four hours. I thought we were riding in the bus. We're riding in the bus, not a train. The train. Very kind. It's a bad idea. It's 1:15, 1:20 a.m. Back home. In our heads. We love you. Thank for SLU and what they mean to us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. We are headed right now to Point de Hoc, and um, we are going to spend a little bit of time there. And Jeff Wallace, on the other coach, he's going to be speaking to us. He's on staff with SLU about. Um, what happened at Point to Hawk. Um, after that, we're gonna head to Normandy Cemetery. We will do a wreath laying ceremony at Normandy. Then we will go to Omaha Beach. We'll have lunch there on the beach. We will ha also hear from Dr. J. And then we get on the road in the afternoon, early afternoon for Paris. So we have about a four hour drive um, to Paris. And so that'll also be a good nap time if you wanna catch up on some more sleep. Tonight, we'll be having dinner in our Paris hotel. We're good to go. Okay, we'll just wait. He's got to be there before us because he's got the speakers on. Yes. Let's go. Yeah. We should race him there. He said he had the better bus. Has he? <laughs> Number six. Number six. That's my old hand-me-down. That's my old one. <laughs> <laughs> he gets the oldies. <laughs> Yellow pants. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. <laughs> About your back right, swiping that car. Yeah. Yeah. Great job, Nick. That was good. Where's he going? Where's he going? No, no, he's going the wrong way. He's going the wrong way. I don't know. I guess the other way. Hunter. Yellow. So if we kept on going on this road, we end up in St. Lou and towards Cherbourg. The coast is over to your right hand side. So we just go past uh, Bayo, then we head towards the coast. It's a cannon. Is that a cannon? This that, is a cannon. That looks fun. Go through the tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> it's good for the vlog. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 Look at that water. It's very pretty, isn't it, David? <laughs> yes. It's very pretty. He's out there. Oh, wow. What? <laughs> bump, 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 bump. Well, the story of Normandy is not. Um, something that we just kind of read about. It's a story where people shed their blood and gave their life. They knew, guys, that in order to overtake uh, the Germans here, the Nazi Germans, that they had to send some men to this place, in essence, to die. They said, 
dead bugs coming Yeah, through. you'll see the different oh, shape okay. on them. All right, guys, I'm hiding in a bunker. Um, well, the ruins, the ruins have a bunker. It's kind of, it's kind of, um, broken. It's kind of, um, destroyed, but, but I'm here, so that's pretty cool. Um, trying to talk a little bit quiet, because I don't know, people are probably walking past and they're like, who is in here? But you can go in there and hide, and it's like a little fort. I have been spotted. <laughs> hey, baby. Oh, hey, how you doing? And there's the beach out there. JD! JD! Hey! Hey! So we're walking back to the bus and my whole group left me behind so I am the last one but that's okay. Problem. <laughs> What'd you just say, Hunter? That's a, a big thing. I was thinking of what it's, it's called. We got another one. <laughs> does, does this guy have a suit and tie on? No, he doesn't. I it looked like he did. For a <laughs> I thought he did for a second too. Not good. Put in that I. Oh. No. <laughs> oh, this is the best thing. A lesson on socialism. <laughs> if you do that right there, they're gonna attack us. Did you just throw bread at them, Jacob? You look like the Statue of Liberty right now. Video on YouTube about them getting a kid's finger. <laughs> He's mad. No. You can tell who it is by how mad he is. Ah! <laughs> what should we name him? What's his name? Screamo, our loyal protector. Look at him. Our loyal protector, Screamo. The documentary. Oh, there's a poop. There's a poop. There's a <laughs> Can we go back to the hotel, please? <laughs> I don't want to move. I don't want to move. Do you want another one, Jacob? Jacob, I would like a lot of them. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Oh, I'm so glad that it happened. <laughs> 
gotta do what you gotta do. Uh-huh. <laughs> you we should probably get one too, David. <laughs> I don't have any yeah, hair. I'll just wipe it off the it's head. It's true. It's a good point. We don't want any um, poopy hair. Yeah, yeah, no poopy hair. My hair's my best feature, so um, yeah, we don't want to mess that up. Guys, this is what happens. You gotta stay protected. Um, there's a bunch of seagulls around, and at any, at any moment they could just crap on you. And so you gotta be like, you gotta be ready. Dr. J. Strack, we are so honored to have him with us. Can we make? Here we go. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you, Luke and Jay. In the night before Adrian had preached on Adam and Eve in the garden, right, and he had that voice. I want a God who not only made us, but five minutes after we sinned in the garden, came looking for us, calling us by name. I said, man, this is when you want to have Adrian Rogers' voice. Adam, where art thou? Well, he's sitting in the audience. Now, he had preached the, I had no idea he's up or he didn't need to be up here in the popcorn stuff. He's sitting out there and he stands up. Jay, where art thou? <laughs> JD broke a strap. <laughs> no, he has to carry his bag like that all week long. <laughs> uh, JD. That's, that's JD. so great. Congratulations. Okay. Yeah. Congratulations. Hello, my name's JD. I'm, over, I'm with Great Hills Baptist Church. This is Hunter. Hello. This is Jacob. This is Faith. This is Jordan. This is Emily. This is Anna. Daniel, and then that's Becca. Where are you guys from? Austin, Austin Texas. Austin, yeah. Hi, um, I'm Faith. I am a blogger on YouTube. My um, YouTube is Faith's Dimensions, and I am vlogging the whole week. Love yeah. You. Love you too. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, bye. <laughs> I got the fall. <laughs> Built by Gustav Eiffel. And guess what it's held together by? Rivets, steel rivets produced in Sheffield, England. We <laughs> yeah, claim to fame for England. Oh. And the last person to jump off it in a stunt was Grace Jones in the James Bond movie. when you say Buckingham Palace, Buckingham, you say, Buckingham don't you? It's not Palace. ham, it's not a piece of meat. <laughs> so Buckingham. That's why we let you have it, your country back, you know, we didn't want you anymore. <laughs> We're proud and better for it. Hey, so, just kidding. But you still owe us for the uh, tea. <laughs> you guys have mustard. Yeah. You have mayonnaise. Yeah. So, mayonnaise a lot of people in this bus. Man, there's a lot of people in this bus. Man, there's a lot of people <laughs> in this bus. It's very juicy. But, you know, you can argue against that. Jesus Christ drunk wine, didn't he? Right. Yep. He did. Because a bunch my of fresh water. Exactly. That's my argument, and I'll stick to it. Parking's going to be a problem what? tonight. Oh, Everywhere's got road like... works. Yeah. We got it. We're good. We got the Jake. Sorry, Jacob. What are we doing? So this is the hotel, yeah. Come on. Let's see. Jordan, yellow. What? Yellow. She's wearing yellow. Okay, guys, here's our room. Jordan, let's check out the bathrooms. The bathrooms. Wait, where's the light? Where's the light? Hello. Where's the light? Up oh, there it is. Found it. All right, let's check it out. What? Where's the Where's the light? What? He's <laughs> like, oh, 
There it is. Found it. <laughs> oh, this is nice. What is up with this one screen kind of deal? I get water all over the place here. Like last night, there's like water pouring out here, water everywhere. It was really stupid. <laughs> it's bad. And what's in this? What? <laughs> what? Well, at least if you take a crap, you're not going to smell it while you're in the shower. Amen to that. Let's show everybody the view we have from our window. Oh my this gosh, is y'all. Wait, 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 this, wait. You no, have no, no. to prepare them mentally. Okay, guys. All right. When you see this, you're literally going to, like, pee your pants. Like, no, Paris, it's just, it embodies what Paris <laughs> is. It's beauty. It's culture. It's history. Like, yeah. you will never understand. You, you have will, to mentally yeah. get prepared. Get yeah. there, guys. Get there. Yeah. Okay, you, you will never forget what I'm about to show you right now. This is breathtaking. When we got in here, we were like, how did how were we so lucky that oh we got God this view? bless us so much. Yeah, like, oh my gosh. this is crazy. From room 507, here is our view. Oh my gosh. Our favorite part? Tell them what it is. Our favorite part is the satellite. It's so dope. It's, it's literally amazing. Like... Wow, I could stare at that like literally uh, just picture like tonight just like staring off in the window and like falling yeah. asleep to looking at the satellite and like oh, yeah, so beautiful. It's, I wonder if it lights up in the night. <gasps> it probably does though. I'm so excited. <laughs> Mimi. <laughs> Guys, my cake is bleeding. No, no. <laughs> JD's mad because I stabbed his cake with a fork after he touched my cake with his finger. Yeah, you touched it. Yeah, but you touching my cake with your finger. You touching your you touching my cake with your finger is equivalent to me stabbing your cake with my fork. Yes, it is completely. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's such a huge bite. You're such a pig. But I was asked to meet with two ambassadors in New York City in August. They were the North Korean United Nations ambassador and his concierge, his counselor. While we were meeting, it turned out that it was his birthday. Once I found out, I said, well, that's why we planned a little surprise party for you. We've got a cake being prepared. I want to thank these two young men right here because they're going to go and get the cake ready and I'm looking at the two young men, right? I'm making sure they can read, you know, that their the psychic hotline is working, you know. I said, well, I want to give you a birthday present. And I gave him a one dollar bill. He was overwhelmed, teared up, such a thoughtful, generous gift, you know. America is always going to believe in peace through strength. And he smiled, he said, no, Jay, he said, if you'll sign this, I'll put it under glass on my desk to remind me that maybe, just maybe, we could have peace. Maybe one day. Oh, hey, Jordan. Oh, hey, thanks it's for finally opening right the door. <laughs> 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 Do not touch our chair. What? Yeah, about that. Dude, I can sit and shower at the same time. Okay. Oh, it's comfortable. <laughs> it's very comfortable. Everybody know. Look at these two. No. Oh my gosh, she just dropped that other phone. I don't know why they haven't invited you to be on Dancing with the Stars oh, no, yet. No, no. Ooh. Oh, dang. <laughs> oh, snap. Nice. Yeah. We just got it tonight. You're kidding. That's off? Yeah. Drop it. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. 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 Thank you guys for watching this vlog, and as always, be a humble bumblebee. And subscribe to become a part of the Earth Talker Nation.